Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at a worked example concerning the Weibull distribution. This is a commonly used probability distribution that you might encounter in industrial processes, modeling to see the lifetimes of components, survival processes, and so on. The lifetime X in hundreds of hours of a certain type of vacuum tube has a Weibull distribution where parameters alpha equal to 2 and beta equal to 3. So we're asked to compute the following. So there's five exercises here. The first exercise is calculate the expected value of x and the variance of x. Then the second exercise, probability of x less than or equal to 6. The third exercise is probability of x being between 1.8 and 6. The probability of x being greater than 3 is the fourth one, greater than or equal to 3. And then finally the interquartile range. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to set up my packages. Now the main one I'm going to use here is using distributions. Okay, so distributions. I'm also going to have random and statistics, partly because I'm sort of just keeping all three of these permanently on standby for all these probability distribution presentations. Okay, but distributions is the main one. Okay, so we'll set up our Weibull distribution. We'll specify it here. So the command of this is as follows, Weibull, and then you just specify the parameters, alpha and beta. Well, now, correctly, there is no proper way of specifying it, because actually, when I, uh, in terms of which Greek letter to use, because beta is quite commonly used in textbooks, but actually, with Julia, it's called theta. Not much of a big deal, So, but from now on, I'll just call it theta rather than beta. Okay, so just watch out for that. Notation for probability distributions, the parameters of probability, probability distributions is notoriously not consistent and well there's there's good reasons for that but anyway we won't go into that so we have it set up there uh weibull distribution with alpha equals two and theta the, sh the scale parameter theta equals three okay so the first exercise is just actually to, to remark that the information about x is now contained in this object here Weibull underscore dist, okay, which is char given characterized by that piece of information there. Okay, so the mean and variance of the Weibull distribution. So let's just get the mean, and that is 2.658. The variance is 1.9314. Okay, so straightforward enough. Uh, what also I could do is actually just try a few more of these. I'll get the median there, it's 2.497. I just had to pause for a second. So the where we left off was at the kurtosis of the Weibull distribution. This is indicative of the shape of the distribution. It's interesting, I won't go into it in detail, but when I run the command kurtosis for Weibull distribution, it gives 0 0.24508 and so on. So that's interesting that we know we can do that, not just mean and variance. Okay, the next thing we're asked to do is find the probability of x less than or equal to 6. So let's just run that there. It's fairly straightforward, 0 0.9816. The probability of being in the interval of 1.8 to 6. This is exercise 3. So I'm just going to subtract one cumulative distribution function value from the other. From 6, I'm going to subtract the cumulative distribution function for x equals 8. And that it gives us 0 0.6793. Okay. So just for the sake of clarity, let's just double check what that where that comes from. Previously up above, we have the probability of x less than or equal to 6. From that, we are going to subtract 0 0.3023 and so on. Okay. Exercise 4, what is the probability of x greater than or equal to Three, remember that the Weibull distribution is a continuous distribution, so it's that is relevant in terms of how we compute the complements, okay? And it is 0 0.36787, okay? Now, just the last question is regarding the interquartile ranges, but first off, I'll just sort of see how do we calculate the quantiles. So I, ha I can set up a series of quantile values the, the percentiles that i want the percentages that i want the quantiles the percentiles for 0 0.50 0 0.95 and 0 
And I can specify these as an array to the quantile function there when I specify Weibull distribution. So there we should get them there. 2.497, 5.192, and 6.43. Okay. So finally, let's get the interquartile range. That is the difference between the first quartile and the third quartile, the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile. Okay, so we can calculate them collectively. And those are the values there, 1.609 and 3.532. And I can get the sequential difference between those. That will give me the interquartile range, which is 1.9231. Okay, that's great. So that's leave it there let's just check that i got median yeah 2.4976 and down here i got 2.4976 grand okay that's the weibull distribution just a quick work example